What's up buddy? So today we're taking a look at Silent Hill Shattered Memories and which settings looks the best for this game in the PlayStation Portable emulator. So uh, yeah, we're starting here with the default settings which, well, I would say this looks pretty alright. It's, uh, it's quite pixelated and uh, well, I guess uh, that also blends a lot of things here so that's not always a bad thing. Uh, but let's have a look at some settings here. So let's uh, let's start with just increasing the internal resolution here. Uh, by default, this one is at 1x, which is uh, native resolution. So let's uh, let's just increase this one to 4k. This uh, recording's uh, resolution here, and uh, here we go. And yeah, this is a pretty good uh, thing here to kind of see how all the textures kind of look and uh, how things blend together here. And uh, well, for uh, for games like these on the PlayStation Portable, uh, textures are usually not amazing. And uh, well, some textures are a lot worse than others, like this tree here. Yeah, it doesn't exactly look amazing there, but... Uh, well, I would still say it's still it's not the worst here in terms of kind of consistent graphics here, uh, but I don't think this looks amazing. I think we could do a little bit better here. I at least prefer uh, the graphics to be a little bit more consistent. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go back to the native resolution again. Here we go. And uh, one thing that we can kind of make things look a little bit better would be if we turn on anti-aliasing here, for example. So uh, yeah, let's turn this on. This thing is only available when we use the Vulkan uh, renderer here or backend. So that's what I'm using here. So here we go. So yeah, now we still have a little bit better kind of detail or we don't have it as pixelated here, but it's still still quite blurry. And uh, well, this is usually what I uh, often prefer here for 3D games. It's uh, it's uh, kind of things kind of blend in pretty well here, so I think that looks pretty good. Uh, but this uh, is not, on the other hand, my favorite settings for this uh, game here. Uh, we can ha also have a look at some other things. So we can, for example, increase the resolution a little bit here or rendering resolution. So if we do that, we will not just increase this one to 2x it is uh, still somewhat blurry but not as much and uh, well we are starting to see kind of all the defects here with the with the textures and stuff like that but it, it still blends in pretty good here especially compared to how it was when we just went with uh, with 4k internal resolution so uh, yeah, this still looks alright. I think I would prefer it to be the previous one there where it's a little bit more blurry. But there is one way we can still get a little bit more blurriness, uh, blurriness but not as much. So we, if we go into settings and go into display layout and effects here, we can turn on other effects here. So here we also have anti-aliasing. So we can have two of these uh, running the same time here. It's not perfect when we turn on this. Here we go. Things are a little bit blurry still here. Uh, but I think this looks very nice. Yeah, we still have pretty good detail. But uh, things still blends in pretty well here. So uh, yeah, this would be my preferred option for for this game here. But it's not, it's not perfect. We still have some artifacting with this one. You can see here with the text here, for example. You can kind of see on the edges there. It kind of a little bit of an artifact thing there that's not there. Uh, if we turn this off, I guess we could turn it on and off here. If we go back again. And there we go. And yeah, as so we can see, the, the text was a little bit clearer. And uh, yeah, we don't have that artifact in there. But uh, I think still that's... Uh, I don't really mind uh, that. It's uh, it's uh, still a pretty small downside there, and uh, things still blend in pretty well. So uh, yeah, I would still uh, I would still like that uh, option there. So if we turn this on again, there we go. So yeah, this would be my favorite settings here. Uh, where, where everything kind of blends in pretty well there. 
Uh, and uh, also one thing to mention here that's pretty handy for this emulator is that you also can save all the settings here. So if we are happy what we have here, we can go into create game profile here. So uh, yeah, next time we start this game again, this uh, these settings will be there again. And uh, yeah, have a look uh, again here. We are going with 2x resolution and also this uh, 8x uh, anti-aliasing here and also this here as well. So uh, yeah, this would be my preferred settings for this game. I Well, I guess this will be it for this video. You all stay awesome and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.